So between about 460 BC and 370 BC, Democrates came up with the idea that an atom was made up of a small particle. More than 2,000 years later, in 1808, <clears throat> John Dalton described these small particles as being different from one another, which we now know as an element. In 1886, Goldstein discovered the proton, which is a subatomic particle within the atom. In 1897, J.J. Thompson discovered the electron, which is a subatomic particle. In 1904, Thompson proposed a model of the atom, which was described as the plum pudding model, where the outside had slightly positive charges and the inside had negatively charged particles. In 1909, Goldstein proposed that the atom was made up mostly of empty space, and Millikan defined the atomic weight in charge of the electron. And in 1913, Bohr proposed energy levels of the atom. And in 1932, Chadwick discovered the neutron, which was a subatomic particle. So concluding the atom, the atom is indeed the smallest indivisible particle that can still have an elemental identity. Dalton described atoms as having different types, which we now know as an element. Goldstein described a positive subatomic particle, which we now know as a proton. Thompson described a negatively charged subatomic particle, which we now know as an electron. And he also recognized some relationship between the positive and negative charges between the proton and electron. There is a vast amount of empty space within an atom. And in 1913, Bohr described different energy levels that the electron orbits. And in 1932, Chadwick described a neutrally charged subatomic particle, which we now know as the neutron. In its entirety, we have the model of an atom, which has a positively charged proton, which is in the middle, a neutrally charged neutron, which is in the middle. These combined are the nucleus of an atom, the electron is negatively charged and follows an orbit around the nucleus, which can only be in defined orbital levels uh, from the Bohr model.